Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics. Continuing on my coverage of the maestro, Jerome Powell and his fine work in the bond market. As you can see here, it's rather stunning, yet CNBC had the audacity to accuse Chairman, uh, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell of being a maestro. Uh, Alan Greenspan must be furious, rolling around with his own money printing press somewhere out there right now. But I, I knew I'd seen this yesterday. Unfortunately, I had the link. It's harder to find on CNBC's homepage today where they're not as overtly calling him the maestro because, well, yesterday they were selling the narrative that he had calmed the markets. Today, the bond market, I think it's safe to say, is officially in panic. We did another video earlier today that covers some of the commentary, so it's not just my opinion, but there's nine basis points in Jerome's face. And just today, let's get the five-day chart Take a look at how that one looks. So there we go. There's a nice spoof. I think that was right on the announcement. Spoof downward. Uh, Got to stop some people out and make sure that Wall Street banks screw their customers. Because remember, JP Morgan confirmed hundreds of thousands of spoofs. A lot of those were in the treasury market too. That sure <laughs> looks like something that I would examine if I were in charge of such things. But in either case, got down to 1.62, 1.63%, and has been as high as 1.75% today. Uh, and so I wonder if they would like a redo at some of this. Jerome Powell managed to keep the volatile bond market calm and the stock market rallying. Yes, that is quite a trick, although I'm not so sure he pulled it off. Here's the year to date on the bond market. And I don't know how calming that is is that like big spike up yesterday when he said again that the same thing he always says, everything's under control, he lies right to your face. What the Fed has done is not blank. Maybe this guy's just a robot at this point. Reinforce the message that the Fed will not move away from zero interest rates or its bond purchases anytime soon. So if they just said that they're gonna keep interest rates the same, and then interest rates shoot up right in his face, I don't know how else to look at that other than the bond market is, is I mean, maybe you can say other than laughing in his face, there's other ways to phrase it perhaps. But again, hey, I'll bring, I'll find some bond experts, bring them on there, see what they think. In that video I recorded previously, you heard some commentaries, at least that I was reading from articles covering this. I mean, guy said everything's okay and he's not gonna raise rates, but rates are shooting higher. And Jim Karen of Morgan Stanley, which is one probably who owns the Fed, the bank. So a guy from a bank says, I thought that was one of the best press conferences we've ever seen. Well, he got up there and kind of rocked it. Jeez, this is what we're doing. This is what's going on. I said, patient, I meant it. Mission accomplished. Goodness, I did have a note here. I listened to a little bit of it yesterday. I had a different takeaway myself. <laughs> But now I am pumped up to do that. And I think that one is going to deserve its own video. There had been speculation that the Fed would signal it might be prepared to discuss dialing back its bond purchases. <laughs> I, I was not on that side of the trade there. Uh, Powell said it wouldn't happen until the economic data makes substantial progress. But what about the fact if they rig data so that no matter what happens, he says the same thing and ignores that he's concerned about inflation. <laughs> Biggest thing that Powell has said is the Fed is, or he's not concerned, they're not fearful of the inflation boogeyman. Uh, well, if they got a subscription to John Williams shadow stats, I think they would be a little bit more concerned, but in either case, yesterday they're calling him the maestro, maestro he's got it all under control walking this fine line where he's going to boost all of the markets at the same time and convince people that he's not going to use a lot of money printing to do it. Um, as you can see in the silver market before we wrap up, just looking at the last day's trading, uh, nothing really has happened in silver except more money printing. Yet you see spoofs on the way up and down so the banks can screw their customers in either direction, which at least is why I am excited. I think I'm done with interviews for today. So 
found a new silver jewelry store here in Austin. So I'm going to go shopping because <laughs> I think I have an idea of how this is going to end. But by all means, that's just my opinion. And if you think this paper silver scheme seems a little odd, then I don't know, could be worth looking into. And lastly, a quick note, uh, we do have a new sponsor to the show. Well, actually not entirely new. You've met Jorge Ramiro Monroy a couple of times running Reina Silver, uh, which has Dr. Peter Magaz involvement in it, who was right behind Mag Silver, and excited to announce that Reina is going to be a regular sponsor and guest on the show. So certainly, if you are of the school of thought that silver price is going to rise, then Reina is one to keep an eye on. Link to find out more about them in the description field below. And we'll be having Jorge, and I believe we're going to have Dr. McGaw on soon as well, which will be fun. Um, truly a legend in the business. So I love studying for people who have been successful, especially when they show they do it multiple times. So with that said, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell, go have a wonderful day. Be glad that you knew about all this stuff in advance. Um, be nice to your neighbors who are just getting it now and don't be a complete smart ass like me and say, hey, uh, you may want to may want to check the bond market. It's uh, in fact, it was interesting. One last note. Last Saturday, I think it was, I was at a birthday party. There was a guy into real estate. That was the one that told me that a uh, house had just sold three hundred dollars over listing price. And I said, hey, what about the bond market? Is anyone concerned about that yet? And. I mean, he was a smart, I'm not saying this uh, negatively. He was a smart guy. He just hadn't been looking at that. So I don't think that the rest of the world is focusing on what we're digging into every day here. So um, anyway, which is kind of cool to be able to see it before it happens. That's what I've spent the last 10 years being prepared for. I think it is happening now. Although again, let's remember we're all in this together. And I will set a good example of being a positive, you know, we'll focus on the good stuff of which there's a lot of it out there and go have a great lunch. And there's some more stories, especially Joe Biden, I think it's appropriate to say threatened uh, Vladimir Putin, who apparently answered back today. I got you covered. We'll be back.